The topic I've decided to study today is the country of China. The reason why I've decided to study the country of China as my topic today is that China, also officially known as the People's Republic of China, is a country that is located in the eastern part of Asia and is bordered by many different countries such as Mongolia, North Korea, Bhutan, and Nepal, and many other countries. China is the, is the second most populous country in the world with their population exceeding 1.4 million people or going over 1.4 million people. And they also have a population density of around 145 people per kilometer squared, which translates over to around 375 people per square mile. And that ranks the 83rd in the world by its population density. China has a size of over 9.5 million kilometers squared, which translates over to a little bit over 3.7 million square miles large, which ranks them either third or fourth in the world by the population or by their um by their country size is not 100% sure, and around 2% of that size is water. China has one of the world's best militaries, if not the best military in the world, with them having five different branches, which are the grand the ground force, the navy, the air force, the rocket force, and the strategic support force. And they have around 2.2 million active personnel, which is more than any country has in the entire world, so it's number one in the world by their active personnel size alone. And they have the third largest nuclear nuclear stockpile in the world. China has over 290 or like around 292 living languages that are spoken there and also many different dialects for each of those languages. But around out of all of those 292 living languages, the one that is most spoken is Mandarin, which is spoken by 80% of the Chinese population. So it's basically spoken in all of the medias and everything. It's basically their main language, but they have 292 living languages spoken there. China's most popular religion is Chinese folk religion. <clears throat> the second most is Buddhism, but freedom of religion is also guaranteed by China's constitution. Even though it is guaranteed by China's constitution, it does not mean that you can make any religion or join any religion you want. Because if they are not, if some religious organizations do not have official approval or they lack official approval from people that like give approval to those different kind of religions they are subjected to getting in trouble or getting their entire uh, religion being taken down as a cause of that but that's all i have bye